Hi, my name is Rick, and today I want to talk to you about how to write articles using mind mapping. I want to give you some tips for article writing and to quickly show you how you can create an article outline, how to free flow your ideas, how you can visually map out your article, and I want to show you how mind mapping can help you do this. So start with one idea, and then you're going to brainstorm ideas or subcategories, then you're going to continue to branch out in any and all directions that your ideas take you. I'm going to use a couple of mind mapping tools that I use. So the two that I will show you are bubble.us and mind42. So let's get busy. First we're in the bubble.us mind mapping tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start brainstorming and you get your first tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move it over here and f you can see all these different um, options that you have for text your size and connecting uh, the different tabs. I'll show you that. But you can just start to create your different uh, bubbles that you want here. So I'm going to actually start with uh, creating three of them because what I like to do when I write an article is to have three main points that I include in that article. So it's, I'll just get one more up here and I'll move it down here. Now I had indicated uh, this to you before so I can just grab this connect and I can start to draw my arrows over. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time in here in terms of filling in the blanks. I want to show you just how great of a tool this is. So I'm going to start another one here and I guess you can see that you can move all those around, but you can also take one of these and do a subcategory. I'm going to just move those here because I want to put two of those, and I can move the whole bubble around, and let's connect these ones. So those are connected. Those ones automatically connected. So what you can do is continue to do this, and even from these here, you can continue to drop down and you'll see that they change colors. So this is a great idea to come up with your article idea here, point one, point two, and point three. Let's take a look at an example that I put together for the purposes of this video. So here I have one uh, with article. So you can see the overall uh, bubbles that I put together. So let's just start over here like I indicated and I can just scroll with my mouse wheel. So there's my article. So I want to do one about cars. So point one, point two, and point three. And these things are really easy to move around. So my point one was about car models, then car accessories, and then what's it for? What's the car for? So I just started to build out some of these bubbles. So I used Ford and Chev as examples, and I put truck and a van as further examples that I would write out. For accessories, I went with exterior and interior, and I'll come back to that in just a second. Point three, I wrote down, what's it for? Well, I, for work or for vacation, maybe for both. And when I come up here, I want to just take both of these over now. So I've got my subtitles here, and exterior, I got thinking about the color, and then it occurred to me, well, what color is easiest to clean? That would make a great article on its own. And down here on point number three, I themed that out and to vacation. What kind of luggage space do I need? What do I pack for the kids? So that could become an interesting uh, topic right there. And then what you can do is you can grab this. And I kind of was playing with this, and I thought, well, let's put that right up there to the van. So in terms of what I need for my vehicle, I might just need a van if I'm going on vacation with the kids. Another thing that I like to do is to create a separate bubble where I just come over here and this is where I keep notes. So I'll just get that. So this includes things that so I don't forget or if I want to get an image or quotes or how will I share this article. And then as I created my other bubbles over here as I got the easiest to clean and the uh, what to pack for the kids. I included those down here because I realized I'd have to research colors and drive through versus hand washing, what's best, and then the kids, electronics, books, coloring. Uh, some of you know exactly what I'm meaning. So, as you see, I can uh, uh, change the size of this, I can move it around, um, and it automatically saves it every two minutes. 
So this is a really great tool. The other one I like to use, and I'm not going to s spend as much time here, but here's a one I created with the Mind42. So there's my main title right there in the middle, and I'll just expand this in a second. Um, and so what I've done is to create sort of two topics on each side of that. So what I did was, and with this one you have to expand it right there, so what I did was I wrote down this is another website. Uh, the purpose, the audience, and I can start listing these different things. I can start expanding out with more uh, bubbles here if I want. You just keep adding them that way. And then I can come over here and I have different ideas for jobs of choice or grunt jobs, the meaning of jobs. So that's just a whole other website that I have going. So I'm just brainstorming my ideas um, with that. So I hope you enjoyed this and Thanks for watching and please leave me any comments below.